I'm sure that all of you guys have done some strength work before. Uh, I think it's totally undervalued um, for a lot of runners these days. You know, a lot of people are doing a lot of running. You hear about them running five, six times a week, but not doing any sort of strength work um, and getting all sorts of niggles and problems. Uh, now, strength training is very important for, for preventing these problems. Uh, obviously, Kate deals with a lot of, uh, a lot of physio patients and, and they need their strength work. A lot of what I see coming into the clinic with my runners is especially people that are training for things like the half marathon where the, the distance that they need to run is longer and longer and longer. The one thing that they quit is the strength training. That's the one thing that falls off. Then they end up in with me. If you're going to increase your distance, you've got to make sure that you strengthen the muscles that you're not using in the sport that you're doing. So we're going to turn on a lot of favourite ones that we want to do tonight that hopefully will keep you out on the streets and not in the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. As you said, you know, the progression of exercises is, is one of the most important things. Right? You know, you'll see a lot of them on TV and on videos and things about this is the latest and greatest exercise. But you know, the most important thing is is really how well you progress them and where you start them off at. So you don't want to be going straight into a front bridge with your knees up when you've never done a bridge before. So it's important that we're finding the right intensity right from the start, but then progressing it regularly, uh, but by small amounts. The same as what we're doing with the running. So we want to start off with uh, workout structure. So if you're doing any given workout, what's the first thing we do? Generally, it's a, a warm-up of some kind. Okay, and you find a lot of people are doing big on their running for a warm-up. You know, jumping on the treadmill or on the rower, um, which are fine for getting your blood flowing and things. But to be fair, if you're there for a strength workout, what you really want to be doing is preparing your body to do the same things that it's going to do in its workout, just at a, a lower level. Okay, so um, that could be doing a lighter set of the exercises that you're going to do before you do them, um, or actually more importantly before that, generally doing some mobility work. Okay, so mobility exercises, open up the joints, take them through a bit of a range of motion. You know, we've done your swinging drills for running, uh, a more sort of gym-based type exercise you might do to try and free up the hip. Uh, we call it Spider-Man, so we're down into a push-up type position, but we're bringing the foot up to the side. So you can see here, in this position, I'm getting a really good stretch through the hip. Um, not holding it for a long time, so. Yes, yeah, so the point is that we're bringing that, that joint into a, a new range of motion. There's not a lot of force going through it, but it is quite a, a big range of motion. You shouldn't tear anything in, in your warm up. You know, core rotation is a big one for warm up. So doing like a low to high core rotation. So get your legs warmed up um, right from uh, the bottom to top, but also warm up your core. Uh, a, a chest stretch for your uh, for your chest for dynamic swing. All right, so doing sort of 12 reps of each of these will get your blood flowing, especially if you don't have much rest in between them, um, and then you can move on to the main set. 